Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are solving these two problems. In fact, we are going to solve this problem and you guys can solve this second problem using the same method. So the problem says that the, two inch uh, the 20 inch tube AB can slide along a horizontal rod. So we have this 20 inch tube which can slide along this horizontal rod and the horizontal rod is along the x axis. And it says that the ends A and B of the tube are connected by the elastic cords to fix point C. For the position corresponding to x equals to 11 inches, determine the angle found by the two cords. So if this x is equal to 11 inches, we have to find the angle between these two cords. And it says that determine the angle found by the two cords using equation 332. So equation 330, 332 corresponds to the dot product and applying the law of cosines to triangle ABC. So first of all we are given that this x is equal to 11. So let me replace this uh, x by 11. So I will write that let us say that instead of this x here we have 11 inches. This is 11 inches. So, we are going to find the angle between these two y's which is let us say theta. So, to find that using equation 332 we have to define true position vectors. We have to define a, a vector C A and we have to define a vector C B and then we have to take the dot work between both of these two vectors. So, we can say that the dot product of uh, C A let us say this is C A, C A vector and dot product with C B. So, we will find this angle theta. So, we can say that dot product of C A with C B, this will be equal to C A magnitude multiplied by C B magnitude and cos of theta. And similarly, we can say that cos of theta will be equal to C A dot product with C B vector divided by the corresponding magnitudes. So, this is basically equation 332 in the book. So, we have to find C A vector, we have to find C B in terms of i, j and k. So, as I have explained you guys that we can easily find C A and C B. So, we can say that C A vector. So, again this is a position vector of A related to C or we can say this is a vector which is starting from C and ending on A. So, to find this C A again we have to start from C and we will try to reach this point A and we will try to move along the x, y and z axis. So, so if I start from C I need to move uh, 24 inches distance in the positive z. So, 24 inches in the positive k. So, I will write plus 24k. So, if I travel 24 inches along the z axis, so I will reach somewhere here and then from here I need to travel 12 inches distance in the negative y. This is the positive y. So, we need to travel 12 inches distance in the negative y. So, the negative y means that we need to travel 12 inches in the negative j. So, we will reach this origin and then from this origin to reach this point A, we need to travel 11 inches in the positive x. So, we will write plus 11i. So, this is the C A vector and we can find its magnitude. So, its magnitude will be C A vector. This is equal to 11 square plus 12 square plus 24 square. So, this is equal to we can say so, this gives me 17 inches and the units of this is in inches as well. Similarly, we can find C B vector. So, C B vector again we will start from C and we will try to reach that point B and we will try to move along the x, y and z axis. So, again from C we need to travel uh, 24 inches towards the positive z. So, this means that plus 24 k in the positive z means in the positive k. So, we will reach here. Then from here we need to travel 12 inches in the negative y in the negative j. So, we will write minus 12 j 
and then from origin we need to travel this distance. So this distance is 20 plus 11. So this is 31 inches in the positive i in the positive x. So plus 31 i. So this is CB vector and we can find CB vector magnitude. So this magnitude will be equal to 31 square plus 12 square plus 24 square. This will give us the magnitude. So this is uh, 31 square plus 12 square plus 24 square. This gives us 41 inches. This is equal to 41 inches. Now we, we need to plug in all these in this equation 332. We will be able to find the angle theta. So we can say that this cos of theta is equal to C A vector. So now C A vector is plus 11 I minus 12 J plus 24 K and the dot product with C B. C B is 31 I minus 12 J plus 24 K divided by their corresponding magnitude. So C A magnitude is 17 inches and C B magnitude is 41 inches. Uh, sorry guys, this magnitude is not equal to 17 inches. This is equal to 29 inches, right? So, uh, we, we need to correct this. So, this magnitude is tw uh, 29 inches if you look into the calculator. So, I have done a mistake. So, this is not 17 inches. This is 29 inches. So, now we can say that this is 29 inches. So, now we can say that cos of theta is equal to now we can take the dot product in the dot part we can only multiply this i with i j with j and k with k since k dot k i dot i j dot j is 1 right so we can say that 11 into 31 i dot i is 1 minus 12 into minus 12 j dot j is 1 and plus 24 into plus 24 k dot k is 1 29 into 41 and if I take cos inverse, so this will be equal to cos inverse of the above ratio. So we can say that, so cos inverse 11 into 31 minus 12 into minus 12 plus 24 into 24 divided by 29 into 41. So this gives us 26.83. So, theta is equal to 26.83 degrees. Now, when the x value is equal to 11 inches, now when this x value is equal to 11 inches, the angle between these two chords is 26.83. Now, again the statement says that determine the angle applying the law of cosines to triangle ABC. So, this is triangle ABC. We can use the law of cosines. So, according to the law of cosines, so for B we can say to find that uh, angle theta we can say that a b length square is equal to a c or c a length square plus c b length square let me write it like this c b square minus 2 c a c b and cos of the angle in front of this a b so this is that theta so if we put now the length means that the magnitudes of these lengths are we can say that the the chord length from C to A the chord length from B to C are from C to B and the pipe length or the tube length. So the tube length is given which is 20 inches we know this is 20 AB is 20 and the magnitude of that CA vector tells us the the length of the chord from C to A. So this is 29 inches. So this means that the length of this CA wire is our cord is 29 inches. So let me erase all this. So now we can say that um, CA length is 29. CB length is 41 inches. So remember that the length the the magnitude of the position vector always gives us the direct distance between a, these two points. So this is 20 inches like right. So we can only now we can say that this is equal to AB. So just putting these values we can say that AB is 20. So this is 20 square. CA is 29. CB is 41 minus 2 
सी ए इज़ ट्वेंटी नाइन सी बी इज़ फोर्टी वन एंड थीटा इज़ अन नोन सो टू फाइन टू फाइन थीटा आई नीड टू ब्रिंग दिस टर्म टू द अदर साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन एंड आई नीड टू ब्रिंग दिस टू दिस साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन सो वी विल हैव टू इन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन इन टू फोर्टी वन कॉज ऑफ थीटा इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर्टी वन स्क्वेयर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी स्क्वेयर एंड टू फाइंड कॉज ऑफ थीटा वी नीड टू डिवाइड बोथ साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन बाई दिस सो वी कैन से दैट कॉज ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी नाइन स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर्टी वन स्क्वेयर माइनस ट्वेंटी स्क्वेयर डिवाइड बाई टू इन टू ट्वेंटी नाइन इन टू फोर्टी वन एंड वी कैन टेक कॉज इन वर्स ऑन बोथ साइड सो वी विल बी एबल टू फाइंड theta so cos inverse of this ratio will give us that same angle theta that we have just re determined by using the dot product so we can say that cos inverse of 29 square plus 41 square minus 20 square divided by 2 into 29 into 41 so this gives us 26.83 so theta is equal to 26.83 degrees So now it's up to you. You guys can find this angle theta by using the dot product method, or you guys can find this angle theta by applying the law of cosines. But in case of the law of cosines, you guys need to find this length. You guys need to find this length. So in other words, you guys need to find the magnitude of this vector and the magnitude of this vector, and this is given, right? So this is how you guys can find the angle between uh, any two given vectors. by using the dot product and by using the law of cosines so i hope this discussion will help you in solving such more problems from engineering statics do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by beren johnston